Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Hello guys, for this demonstration, I will be using this image files. You can download them from the given link in the description, along with the light leak media file. Now let's start with creating our first composition. Name it as text1. Time duration for this composition will be 1 second. Remaining everything will be the same. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be the background for text layer, you can set the solid color here or in effects and preset. Search for fill. Add it to the solid layer. Here you can set any background color of your choice. Now let's add the text. Here you are free to add text of your choice, or you can add the same text as I am going to use. And later on you can change all the text. Here I am using Montserrat font family, font style to black. You can increase the font size if needed. Align the text to the center. Now let's animate the text layer. In animate select tracking. At end of the time align. Create keyframe for tracking. Set tracking to 5. At start. Change the tracking amount to 50. Now select all the keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Make sure you are on the edit speed graph. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Here our text 1 is created, now we will create multiple duplicate compositions of this text 1 composition. For this particular intro, I am going to create total 10 duplicates of this text composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now open all the created compositions. Here you need to change the text for all the text layers one by one. I will add this fill effect for the text layer. For this text layer, I will replace text color with background color. Now change the text for all the created compositions. Perfect. Here our text compositions are created. Let's close all these text compositions. Now we will create our image compositions, create a new composition, name it as slide 1. From project panel, let's add the first image file. You can scale your image if needed. Here I will add my another text. 
for this text. I will increase the font size. Align text to the center. For this text layer. In animate, select tracking. Now at end of the time align, create keyframe for tracking amount. Change tracking amount to 5. At start of the time align, change tracking amount to 50. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the adjustment layer. For motion tile, set output width to 200. Now search for transform. Add it to the adjustment layer. At end of the time align, create keyframe for scale. At start, change scale value to 25%. Press U to view keyframes. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect, here our slide 1 is created. To create second slide, you can create duplicate of the slide 1 and make changes, or create a new composition. Name it as slide 2. Add second image file. Now add the text. Align the text to the center. Now let's animate the text. In Animate, select Position. In Range Selector, at Start, create keyframe for Offset, set Offset to minus 100%, at end of the time align, change Offset to 100%. In Advanced, change Shape to Ramp Up. Randomize Order to On. Set Position Value to 250. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the adjustment layer. For motion tile, set output width to 200. Now search for transform. Add it to the adjustment layer. At end of the time align, create keyframe for scale. Set scale to 75%. At start, change the scale value to 200%. Press U to view keyframes. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect, here our slide 2 is created. Now let's create duplicate of this slide 2. Open slide 3 composition, remove the second image file. Now add the third image file. Now change the text. For this text layer, we will change the position value. Change it to minus 250. You can see the preview. Perfect, our slide 3 is ready. Now let's create slide 4. Create duplicate of slide 3. Open slide 4. Remove the image and text layer, we don't need it. Now add the fourth image file. For the adjustment layer, press U to view keyframes. For first keyframe, change scale value to 50%. For end keyframe, change scale value to 100%.
Let's hide the motion tile effect. Perfect, here our slide 4 is ready. Now let's create slide 5, create duplicate of slide 3 composition. Open slide 5 composition. Let's remove the text and image layer. Now add the fifth image file to the timeline. Now add the text layer. Align it to the center. Let's animate the text layer. In animate, select tracking. At end of the timeline, create keyframe for tracking. Change tracking amount to 5. At start of the timeline, change tracking amount to near about minus 50. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. For adjustment layer. Press U to view created keyframes. Change first keyframe value to 50. Change end keyframe value to 100. Perfect, here our slide 5 is created. Now let's create duplicate of slide 5. For slide 6. Remove the previous image. Add the new image file. Now change the text. For adjustment layer. Change output width to 100. Change output height to 200. Perfect. Here our slide 6 is created. And all the slides required for this intro is created. Now let's create our final composition, name it as an intro. For this intro, I will set time duration to 10 seconds. Perfect. Here you can add text composition and slides composition one by one, and arrange them. Or you can add all of them at once, and then arrange them on the timeline. Now here we will arrange the text compositions one by one. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer, in effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to solid layer. Here I will set the background color to white. Place it below the text composition. Here you need to take your time and arrange the text composition and slide composition. Perfect. You can see the preview.
here you can see, the background for slide composition is not visible, so we need to trim the below text composition for all the slide compositions. Now let's trim this composition. We will do the same for all the text compositions. Perfect. Now for text composition, we need to create scale keyframe. For text 1, press S to bring up scale. At 20 frames. Create keyframe for scale. At start, change scale value to 300. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now we will copy this scale property, we will paste it on all the text compositions. Make sure you are at start of the text layer, now press Ctrl plus V to paste. We will do the same for all the text compositions. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview for this intro. Perfect. Now let's add the light leak media file to the timeline. For light leak media. We need to change the mode to screen. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for glow. Add glow to adjustment layer. Here, set glow threshold to 70%. Glow radius to 40. Glow intensity to 0.4. Change glow operation to screen for this adjustment layer. Search for, add grain. Add it to the adjustment layer. Change viewing mode to final output. Change the size to, 0.5. Change intensity to, 0.5, perfect. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set noise amount to 2. For all layers, we will enable motion blur. Make sure motion blur is also enabled here. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our big typography intro is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.